Let's have a good run. Hello, it's Saturday night again, and uh, my name's Nathan, and this is Ryan, the, the other person in the room, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining us for a bit of uh, live music. Hope you're all good. Uh, hope your week has been, you know, not too bad and in inspiring, if possible. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, um, so, basically, if you've seen us before, we have had some uh, intro music just to get us warmed up and in, in the vibe uh, of the gig. But uh, lately, the, the Facebook copyright police uh, sort of don't like that. So I think what we're going to do is write our own jingle for this, which is going to be fun. But uh, that's not quite finished yet. So in the meantime, here's just some... Uh, royalty free uh youtube music just to, just to let us settle in very pleasant funky i don't want it to stop do this. And that's enough. But well, I feel relaxed. I'm, I'm there. What are you drinking there, Roy? Same old, same old. John Smith's. Classic. It's called John Smith's for a reason, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I better do the thing where I can see the comments and stuff. So, two seconds. If everything goes to plan, it should say, the South Coast Collective is live. And then I'll click on that. And um, if there's any of you with us, I should be able to sort of see that, which... I hope there is, otherwise we're just in the back room playing to no one. Well, playing to our production crew, John and Shazza. Oh my God, we're live now. Right, go on then, let me click on that. So, let's get some, some hellos in. Right there. That's not gone full screen, it's getting there. Cool. Hello, everyone. Ah, we got. Hello, Zoe. What and how you doing? Hello. Sh Shazza Hill. Oh, watch out. Uh, hello, Amanda Kenyon. Hello, Andy Hurst. Oh, we had a few beers yesterday virtually. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Hello, Lacey. <laughs> hello, Jane O'Neill. Hope oh, you're all right. Cool, I think this is uh, warming up. Oh, hello, Pat Franklin. Trouble. Trouble again. Um, we should play some tunes, really. Let's, let's, let's go for it. What do you fancy playing, Ry? I'm going to try a, a Mojo favourite, but we'll see how it works in a two-piece so, situation. Cheeky two-piece. Anyone that uh, doesn't know, me and Ry uh, play in a 60s band called Mojo Dollar. Uh, with some lovely musicians and Rye is usually on bass and is not the lead singer in that so we're going to give this one a go and uh, I think I know what you're going to play so this is uh, very apt I think this is how we're feeling So young and pretty, but one. 
thing I know is to me You'll be dead before your time is due Oh yes, I know Coming with us, cheering along every gig. Uh, we got to get out of this place by the animals. Um, yes, uh, I think we can understand how they were feeling at the time. Now, I want to chuck this random piece of, like, it, it, it is a fact. I know it's true, but the content is probably wrong. But basically, the, the record House of the Rising Sun, I think was recorded in something ridiculous like 12 minutes. Really? It, it's, it's around that. It's a really short amount of time for anyone that's tried to record a tune. And maybe if someone can find that out and uh, correct me, but yeah, I'm not going to commit to 12 minutes, but I know it was done like in, I think it was even like one take. It was just insane. Uh, what a band. Hello, Lita. Right, Lizzie. Well, I know. Yeah, go on in. I'll start on this. Yeah. Right, go on. Let's, let's not mess about. Everyone's for drinking gin.
Next time, though. Next time. Oh. Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday to you, Hannah. Yes. And happy birthday to Amy for tomorrow. Happy birthday, Amy, for tomorrow. Let's give a little happy birthday. Let me find it, Amy. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let's go for... I can't remember what this one is. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, it, the thought was there. Uh, I had the volume up a little bit too loud, but that was because it was extra special. Hello, uh, Joe Waller. As I learned from last week, um, where my iPad screen is cracked, it, it does make certain letters look differently. So, uh, as a, I don't think I'm going to let go that I was calling Tony Tory for some of last week. <laughs> I've, been, I've been kicked out the inner circle, apparently. Um, but, yeah, it's cool. Ooh, reverb. But, yes. Free boy. No. Um, so, I think we better kick off with a little bit of what we're drinking. Just... So, basically, in a real pub, you can see what each other's drinking, um, and it just makes the night more exciting, really. So, what we like to do is play what we're drinking. Is in your comments, if you can uh, write what you've got with her. We love all the exotic and classy drinks. I think uh, it's going to be hard to catch up when we get to the pubs. Oh, Malcolm Cully on the gin and the Bex, as we like. What a combo. Evening. What can I get you? Uh, yeah, can I have... Um Two pints of lager, please, and a packet of dry roasted peanuts. What are we all drinking tonight? Cheers. That geezer sounds a little bit like Graham Coxon, that's all yeah, we're going to do. Cheers. Like, cheers, yeah, I was in blur, yeah. I was really freaking out. Um, actually, what was that band? Uh, Purple Arts Club. Jaded Hearts Club. Jaded, yeah, yeah not Purple. She's in with Matt Bellamy from Muse and the guy from Jet, who I can't remember his name, but yeah, it's cool. Drummer from the Zootons as well, which is just a little bit of extra spice in there. Um, yeah, super band, just started up in lockdown. So, really cool. Someone else as well. Good. White Wine Spritzer, Amanda. And, uh, Jeeves and Lemonade by Tammy Martin. What's Jeeves? 
was a search engine from like the late 90s, right? Ask Jeeves and Lemonade. Yeah, we like that. Answers. And uh, Jane O'Neill with a bottle of Rioja. Very nice. Go on, let's play a tune. Stereophonics. Uh, hello, Nina. Good to see you. See you right. Don't know why I've gone all like that. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Tina Miller wants Secret Affair, Time for Action. Uh, we don't know that, but what a, what a banger. It is a banger. It is a banger. Like, um, I will do something with a mod tinge to, as a yeah. We could have a little mod fest at some point. It's getting to the, the kind of mod festival season during the summer, so maybe we'll have to organise that. Uh, here I fall off the... Yes. Uh, yeah, just going to scroll up. What have we got? Uh, cheap pims. Oh, that is what... Um, <laughs> that's what that was, Tammy. All right, I've got you. Well, yeah, well, there's, there's no point paying too much for pims. Uh, I've only had one... 
wobbly note on Tim's. Might have involved waking up on a beach somewhere. But that's another story. Um, Never again. What's that? David Grant with Uncle Michael's slow gin over ice and a hop Ooh. house. Oh, yeah, and a hop house for me. Very nice. Just chuck it all in one glass. Go for it. Some absinthe. Yeah, just add some absinthe. Go for it. Makes everything better. It's Saturday. Make that slow gin a quick gin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I reckon I can have a bosh at this, you know. It, it'll probably go wrong, but... try to catch each other out on that last bit that's well a good song oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> bit bit late but we'll have it oh, i'm surprised i remember that yeah i'm well uh, it's been a while 
Right, let me scroll back down and catch up with what's going on. Uh, I just see Wonderbar from Paul. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, Wunderbar. Yes. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Yeah, we like that. Uh, we got some... We got some requests from Bit Ocean Policy. Yeah, it was. Paul Siren's going to be really hard. I, I, I'll tell you what. Is that any Paul Simon or REM? Or Paul Paulie M? Or RE? Oh, no. This goes back a long time, doesn't it? This is, uh... We're going to try and pull this out of the bag, Hannah, but no promises to if it resembles the song in any shape or form. I don't trust myself. Just checking, just checking a couple of bits. Can you guess what it is? Oh no, you can't, you can't say it anymore.
Well, don't know where you pulled that one from, Roy, but um, yeah, nice work. Hello, Amy Brown. Good seeing you via Zoom chat yesterday. Lo lovely catch up. Hope you and Mac are having a lovely Saturday. Can kind of see later. I'm just going to save the voice. The, the voice needs to be oiled properly before that yes. one. Um, Let's go for a friend scene change. So, uh, oh, yeah. just to make this more exciting, if you could pretend like in Friends that when the funk music plays, we're in a different room for everyone's entertainment. <laughs> We're in a coffee shop. Just visualise cool. and believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get to, right, let's go with... Hello, Lisa Marie. How's it going? Hello. Yeah, a bit late indeed, right? Room for improvement. Um. Such a feel, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so you get a bit of... Uh... Want to do a bit of pinball? Yeah, go on in. Can you ask me if I enjoy playing the Who? Do you enjoy playing the Who? Never get old. Nope. Well, not for me anyway. We've had a request um, by uh, Cecil to play uh, 
anything uh, by, by Dave or the bootleg set? That could be any record ever recorded. Yeah, I was going to say, it's Dave. Dave Barrett is an absolute legend and he knows every song before, some that's not even been written yet, he just knows the words to. But, shall we play a uh, classic bootleg? Come on. Yeah, go on then. Oh, we're going to play one um, from, from uh, the bootleg set. I love this one, always great fun to play. That was bloody good fun. Uh, so, what we got going on? Yeah, very nice. 
Uh, yeah, blocking the appreciation for the tunage. Um, I'll tell you what, I like to think that here at the South Coast Collective, we're quite positive people um, in general. And obviously, this is not an ideal situation. So I thought it'd be nice to uh, write whether anyone started any positive habits during this lockdown. So obviously, it's a terrible virus and all that. But is there, is there some kind of things that you're like, oh, actually, well, since this, uh, I've, I've been doing this, which is a, a good thing. So, yeah, any positive habits um, off the top of my head? I've been... Uh, that one thing I did, only used to do now and again, uh, was floss. But now it's like every day, like religiously. I like... Um, I see it as like a little treasure hunt in the morning. Like, what will you find? Plaque. Plaque. Well, I found an old debit card the other day. I thought I'd lost it. So it saved me having to, like, cancel it. So that was... That was handy so um yeah so there you go uh so bad for just general on a pandemic level but for for my dental hygiene right up there uh so yeah any positive habits like uh chuck them in uh simon straight in there with drinking we like that can't argue with that <laughs> like if you're gonna do something be good at it I mean, don't, don't just drink, like... I'm not sure I can blame a drinking habit on COVID-19, though. I'd say that's, been <laughs> a, that, that, that's a stretch. But, uh, what, what, what about you, Roy? Anything? Uh, just crossing the road to avoid people. It's great. <laughs> green, cross, green cross code there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, king of the road. Uh, Chris Lee getting smashed in shed quarters. Very positive. That was a habit beforehand, potentially, wasn't it, Chris? <laughs> but it's a positive habit, and we love shed quarters. Um, and, uh, yeah, technically, you're like our rival broadcast. Not rivals. We like, are we like it, so we can't be rivals. But it's not competition. It's, yeah, it, it, there's no eye in music. Everyone wins. Yeah, go on then. We can do one by the jam and then something lively. Well, the jam are lively, but you know. I love it. Police car and a screaming siren. Met a drill and ripped up concrete. Baby went in straight out down here. Get your bricks, the lamp lights blinking That's entertainment That's entertainment
of the bootlegs Mikey G's only watching isn't he Whee, happy birthday Mike for the week yes I want to commit to was it Monday Tuesday uh, uh, Tuesday Tuesday uh, no I'm sorry Mike we, we know it was midweek but happy birthday man very much uh, missing playing with you and your delicious guitar tones soon have you got a 12 year old single malt Highland Park in your hand then Mike that's what I want to know yeah, if you haven't, we'll have to get on to, uh, <laughs> get on to Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it turned up. Oh, amazing. Right, um, right, so let me have a quickly scroll up. I've been talking to my family, Ellis. Uh, they, they seem like nice people. That's a very positive habit. We like that. Um, uh, I've gotten good at being feral. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Absolutely fair enough. Uh, Paul Lofty, are they Sennheiser headphones? Uh, yes, they are. Uh, I can't remember the model, but they, they've done me well. And um, when I bought them, uh, I spent about at least 40 minutes trying on all the headphones in the shop doing this. Seeing which ones were likely to stay on my head when I was drumming. So, um, yeah, there, there's, there's fantastic grip. So yeah, uh, but if you, if you want to find out, drop us a message, I'll find out what actually make they are. Good spot. Uh, eating too much, Patricia Franklin, fair enough. <laughs> Rock on, can't get it. And lots of knitting. Oh, there's, there's good. There's loads of habits in there. We like that. Me and Scott took the 26 day challenge to raise money for great arm Street. Oh, that's absolutely amazing, Wanda Stewart. Um, Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking the positivity. And Lacey, we're dancing. So um, I like the saying, why walk when you can dance? You might as well have a boogie, ain't you? When you can. Let's go for another tune. Yeah, I was going to go for the white stripes one. This came up yesterday, didn't it, in a random... I can't remember at some point it did, didn't it? Right. And I thought I'd have a go at it, but I reckon it's harder than the average song. I'm going to regret it, I think. This might go wrong, but... There's only one way to find out. Yeah, you're up in the distortion. Mm, very nice. Oh, Naked Dancing by uh, Scylla there. <laughs>
That was a lovely guitar tone, Ryan, I'm not going to lie. That, that's up there. Let's get a clap. So you dropped your pick? Yeah, actually, anyway. So if you're, a guitar oh, you if you're a guitarist, you know that if you drop your pick, it instantly goes into a small black hole into another dimension, never to be found again. But yeah. it will appear one day in another guitarist's pocket. Alien, so alien will find it in 20,000 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then some alien band they go, you got a pick? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, I do. What's a pick? Uh, I don't know why I only buy black and grey ones, because they're the hardest ones to find. I just need to get luminous yellow ones. Start getting picks with, like, carpet samples on one side of it, just to make it even harder. Right. Well, that seemed to go down well, so thank you very much for that. Really appreciate it. We're getting dirty guitar sounds going. Bloody good fun, that. Oh. Well, fill my beer up, mate. Yeah, yeah. Go on, I'll go for a... Yeah? Yeah, go on, then. Get us a cheek... on, cheeky Saturday. Stella Artois. I'll oh, get some little filling, filling up music.
Bloody hell, the background music's better than us. <laughs> I know, it's well groovy. Right, who we got with us then? Oh, Dave Stringer. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm glad you like that last tune. Hello, Pip. You all right? Oh, do you very much uh, liking the set. It's lovely. You all right, James? Cheers. I like you. I'm glad that liking the sound as well. Might be a bit tricky, Amanda. Sorry about that. I want to create a custom skateboarder. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Cheers, everyone at home. Uh, give me a tune. What was it? What was it? Uh, we've already done an Oasis one. I was going to go there. Do you want to do one of these? We got our production crew uh, just seeing if some stuff's possible. Yeah, we're going to go that. Uh, you don't need to anything for not. Ah. Right, we're going to do one from um, our band, the House of Anthems. Uh, so uh, we've usually got Lisa with us with that, who, who can sing uh, dance music rather, rather well. But this is our interpretation of uh, this banger.
Hmm. Yes. Do you know what that is, the same chords as? No, I do not. Because I'm a drummer and uh, I only see in black and white. <laughs> and back in time. Chords, melody, ha, such funny words. Right. Remember this. You can't just say, do you what's the same chords as? And then, oh, you're going to play it now. Oh, I see, I'm catching up. Uh, hello, Stephen, with just a comment I'm wearing my mother's knickers. So, um, fair play. Fun. What does back streets back even mean? <laughs> back streets back that way. The back streets are back there. Maybe they're just giving directions. It's like, oh, which way is the back streets? Oh, it's there. All right. Um, Hello, Den. You all right? Oui. Yeah, we got the fam in. We got a Pat, Den, Shazza. Collect the whole set. And Craig Ward, yes, I got sound. I hope you got sound, otherwise it's just us two in there with some coloured lights. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying that's a bad thing. It's probably an improvement, I would say, but there we go. So, I hope you're doing the opposite in the to the video of this song instead of walking in a straight line and not getting out of people's way and causing all kinds of ruckus don't channel your Richard Ascroft uh, we hope everyone is moving politely sweet 
by Michael Saving there, and uh, yeah, what a band. Well, definitely one of my favourite bands. I've ever seen them at uh, Brixton Academy. I think it was like the, you had to be a part of like the fan club to, yeah, to get pre sale tickets. And uh, so it's before anyone had properly heard Empire, but I think, uh, yeah, Shoot the Runner had just sort of come out. And uh, yeah, the, it's Empire. Yeah, it was a banging gig. Uh, I did promise the motion cuts, they should do that. Yeah, can you put the word? So, otherwise, they can't use the thing. I know. Right, I am. Right, this was a request earlier. Always messing up my words for this, I'm going to try really hard to get it right. Never saw it as a start Smart change of heart Rapping on the windows, whistling on the chimney pot Just blowing up the dust in the room where I forgot I leave my plans and started running Just walking through the door like a trooper at all white and just an hour away Looking through the trees by the roadside thinking it's a brighter day Yes, bit of ocean colour scene. Indeed. Bloody lovely band. Uh, yeah, I think so. Has to be. Uh, is that all good to go? Bit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you're having some props. I think. Yeah, I did some waffle. So, um, last week, because uh, they started showing all the uh, like the Euro '96 stuff. Uh, I learned how fun it was to um, 
take an old football interview and put it to some like right uplifting music. Um, and I didn't get a chance to use this one. Well, I actually had two. I got quite into it. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to refill our drinks. And uh, I, I can't actually remember which one this was. So I'm just going to hit the pad and apologies in advance. Tell me a secret about you. Secret. Tell me a secret. football in my life. It can be anything. It can be that you don't like Brussels sprouts. It can be that you always put your left sock on first. Tell me a secret. Uh, I love syrup. Syrup? Yes. You know what's a syrup? Yes. Why? Strawberry syrup. It's just like that. How often do you have it? Every day. I need, I never, I never, I always, when I drink water, I put syrup in. Is it good for you? I guess. <sighs> Ten years. There's something I can't live without. It's like an addiction. I swear, every time my family come over, the first thing I'm asking them, bring me syrup. That's my secret. <laughs> Syrup, there you go. It, uh, in water, I didn't know that was a thing, but uh, that's, that's the depth of footballer interviews. Loving it. Uh, we're all going to try that now, aren't we? Pint, a pint of uh, syrup water. This is uh, one that would have been in the Victorious lineup, wouldn't it? Yes. I was yes. thinking, well, we have done this before. We did this at our first ever Man for It gig we did, I think. Oh, yeah. This is... Yeah.
to see I love you more than you love me However I look it's plain to see I love you more than you love me However I Is that uh, well, that's the best request of the evening. Uh, Terry wants whiskey time. Let's do it. Right. Whiskey and pleasure. Whiskey time with Ryan and Nathan. Whiskey. 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 Right, it is whiskey time, and uh, Ryan, what have we got today? And I'm going to tie this in with a uh, classically timed comfort break. So I'm going to leave you to uh, describe this week's whiskey time. We have got Glenfiddich, we've got classic, Glenfiddich, single malt, 15 years. There we go. What an old bath. Do the uh, production crew want one? Looking particularly at Jono. Hope you're joining in with us, Terry. And Mike, if you're still watching. What do you want, Shans? I can't hear.
Yeah, what was it? It's a Glenfiddich 15. Ooh. Yeah, that's very cheeky. Bit too easy though, isn't it, Kim? Yeah, 15, isn't it? I want to fight my whiskey. I want to wrestle it to the ground. Goes down 15 times easier, doesn't it? It does. Dangerous. Mm. For the wallet. And the soul. Do you want to do another sing along? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, go on. Why not? Right. This is uh, the definition of a classic sing along, and we want you all to sing along at home. Top of your voices. Go on. Even if you're by yourself, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, it's good to have a sing song. Should we do, just to be different, should we do like the bit of the mopey Ryan? Today was gonna be the day they were gonna throw it back to you by now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do Cause I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Backbeat, the word is on the street Get the fire in your eyes
Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, oh, one thing, if you wouldn't mind helping us out with, is if you haven't already, would you mind keep uh, clicking share in the bottom left of the screen? Um, it really helps us reach new people uh, who might like what uh, our party that we're having uh, on a Saturday night. So that'd be amazing. Actually, I, I, I'm going to click it now. Look at me go. Yes, so, yeah, look, right post. Uh, and that's me. And Oh, I'm, oh I, can do a little, I can do a little wave as well while I'm gigging. Is it going to let me? It's not going to let me write. Oh, it is. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it actually crashed a little. Here we go. Right, there we go. If you give it a share, I'm going to give it a, that and a little smiley face emoji just to... Just to really kick it in, there we go. It's like a tomorrow's world <laughs> over here. Look at that shared. Well, thank you very much. If you can give it a share, massively appreciate it. Cheers. Yes. Up to the facts I'm dancing now I can't relax I can't sleep Cause my bed's on fire Don't touch me I'm good at why Psycho killer
Well, that was uh, the Talking Heads classic, Psycho Killer. That was indulgent, wasn't it? Mm. Well, to be fair, on the old Grey Whistle Test live version, they do go off on a bit of a tangent there, and it just seems rude not to, not to do it. Yeah. Hello, Darren Hartfield. How you doing, man? Cheers for stopping in. Hello, Nicky. You all right? Lovely to see you virtually. This one's for Pat. So that was uh, by Tony J. White, and uh, he was just uh, like a pioneering kind of swamp, kind of blues kind of sound back in the 60s. 
But if you want to treat yourself, uh, if you listen, I think it's the Isle, the Isle of Wight Festival, 1970, his set. Uh, I think it was about like an hour before they're going to go on stage. Uh, he got chatting to the drummer from Rainbow, uh, Cozy Pal. Cool's here. Cool's here. And he just says, do you want to play with my set? I was going to do it by myself. And he just... Uh, so, yeah, there's this um, improvised... Just, just Tony Joe and Cozy Pal just playing this amazing set and it's completely off the cuff and it's just a great story. So, yeah, if you fancy listening to that, check out that footage. It's on Spotify. Well, not the footage, the recording's on Spotify. Rather good. Mm. Uh, let's do something that people will know. Speaking of Cozy... Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. Oh, God. Right. I've just mentioned Cozy Pal now. And uh, I might fancy going for this. Self-indulgent, and then we'll play the... Uh, we'll, we'll get some sing-alongs going. Yeah, all right. Ready? All right, this is... I apologise to Cozy in advance. I enjoyed myself. I was dancing with the devil.
Don't look back. Yes, for the Fleetwood Mac way. Uh, never look in the rear view mirror. Ter terrible drivers. Uh, we should say, actually, there's going to be a bit of a change to the normal gig situation uh, next Saturday. So we're actually playing. Have you seen that uh, NHS uh, festival called Don't Stress Fest? It's raising money for, for, for the NHS. Uh, don't stress the NHS. Don't stress the NHS. That's the one. <laughs> and um, there are just loads of uh, great acts uh, playing it. We've we got South Coast Collective, Marley Blandford, uh, loving it. We've got uh, uh, Rob, the Bank, DJ's Rob the Bank DJing. And um, the guys from Friendly Fires doing something. One of the guys, yep, yeah, Friendly Fires. And um, oh, just, um, who am I trying to say? Uh, oh, know. Jerry Williams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like... Uh, yeah, uh, the awesome Jerry Williams playing as well. So I think that, that it's a whole weekend thing, but we're on the Saturday and we're going to be on that page at 10 past nine till 10 past 10. So it's going to be a bit different. We're going to play um, an absolute uh, power set and we'd like you to go and get behind this event because uh, it's going to hopefully do a lot of good. So yeah, we'll hopefully see you on that page. So it won't be on this page, I believe. Unless we can sort it out so we can share it. I don't know, but we'll post the details anyway. Keep a lookout. Let's get this one a go. Yep. It's been a while since we've done this. Five years, six? Yeah, this could have been with Mikey G, actually. Yeah. Probably it's somewhere like the Admiral Drake, I believe. Ah, oh, I miss the Admiral Drake. What a pub.
by the hives there. Oh, I like that band. Yeah, definitely one of my favourite live bands I've seen, the hives. Uh, they were amazing at Victoria's last year. And uh, yeah, we saw them in Belgium. That, that was pretty amazing as well. And uh, if, you go, we, if you go on the Hives Wikipedia page, they talk about a time where uh, they overran this festival slot, partially because they, like, stood still. For, it must have been, like... It's 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, they, so they just played the song, and during the stop, they just, like... And then they just, they just didn't move, and... Yeah, they were trying to kick him off and stop the band, but they carried on. It was an amazing set. Uh, what have we got? An update. Is that, is that, is, do, am I reading that right? Is that Banana Girl? All right, we've, got, we've been asked for the choral for Banana Girl, so, yeah, can't argue with that at all. Banana Girl can have what she wants. <laughs> there we go. Cheers. <laughs> While we decide what to play, God, this is my last of the random football interviews, but I thought I'd just air it out. Why not? This might be my favourite. We'll pick what to play. Okay. Jose, a 3 1 defeat after a fabulous start. The game just got away from you then? Nothing, nothing to say. Nothing to say about the game at all? Nothing, nothing to say. Nothing to say about the Lucas decision that left him on the pitch? Nothing to say. I have nothing to say. The Costa clash? I have nothing to say. I'm so sorry, I have nothing to say. Do you not think it's time to have a chat to the fans just to give them some message, give them an indication of your thinking? I'm not stupid. We heard them chanting your name. The fans are not stupid. You did say before this game that you weren't worried. Are you a little bit more worried now? No. I'm worried about what? Your future, your own position at the club, the backing of the board. No. Nothing about the game at all. No individual performance you'd like to pick out. Nothing about the performance going ahead. Nothing. Nothing about the way we could fix it. <laughs> I cannot say. Thank you. 
you the time, Jose. They should put music to the post-match interview. Let's go. I want the Keegan one again. We'll put that one at the end. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll treat ourselves yeah. to the end. For now. Love it, love it, we bring that one, love it. Here's some blur. And uh, saying, remember playing that on bass. Yeah, oh, I'd love to be able to play bass. All the wonder of low end in a guitar. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go party. Can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Right, if you have some dancing. She came from Greece, she had a thirst for knowledge Study sculpture at St. Martin's College, that's her eye Caught her eye She told me that her dad was loaded Said in the case I left, wrong with cold, she said fine But then in 30 seconds time, she said I wanna see whatever common people see You wanna see what is common people You wanna see what common people like me What else could I do? Say see what I can do I took her to a supermarket Don't know why you started somewhere So it started Where I said pretend you got no money And she's laughed and said You're so funny I said yeah But I can't turn out to smile I shout You wanna live like common people You wanna see
Cheers, everyone. They play the last Glastonbury Killers because they absolutely smashed it. Was it last year? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it was. They, 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 their set was just phenomenally good. Just what a band. They were uh, the, uh, 
Yeah. Oh yeah, they did it in the tent, and it was all. I oh, yeah, that's a reminder. Actually, we should maybe do a a sort of Glastonbury sort of themed theme night when it gets closer to the time. Yeah, when's that June? Yeah. yeah. We'll do a Glastonbury theme set. Right, it's getting to that time where kind of uh, it, it flies past, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, I think we're at the uh, end of the set. But can we just say um, thank you so much for watching? Uh, I know it's like week, I don't even know um, how, how many weeks now it's been, but it's just thank, thanks for making our weekend special and just meaning we can gig in our own way. And we're, we're definitely missing all the musicians from the bands we're in and uh, playing in all the pubs, all the fantastic landlords and landladies and all the amazing team that run the music venues. So, um, yeah, just uh, look forward to coming back to that. So, cheers. What, 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 are we, what are we fancy kind of wrapping up on? Right, this one, uh, this, this song was proper hard, so I uh, just hats off to Ryan for playing this, but this is from our Victorious inspired set last week, and I think we're gonna give this one another go. It's been that long trying to get the words, I thought, oh, yeah, we've gotta keep it, we've gotta keep it, otherwise I'll just forget it. Yeah. Right, give us the, give us the yeah. tempo. Yeah. Trying to do it after a few whiskeys, so Jesus.
Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Cheers. South Coast Collective, take care. Please not today. Go on then, just for my own. Cheers. We'll finish on Keegan. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Uh, remember, we're uh, uh, don't stress the NHS Fest um, next week. So look out for details on that. And there's just fantastic um, people playing all weekend. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone play and uh, having a drink with you guys. Go on, Kev. When you do that with footballers, like he said about Leeds, and when you do things like that about a man like Stuart Pearce, I'm, I've kept really quiet, but I'll tell you something, he went down in my estimation when he said that. We have not resorted to that, but I'll tell you, you can tell him now, I'll be watching it, we're still fighting for this title, and he's got to go to Middlesbrough and get something. And, and I'll tell you, honestly, I will love it if we beat them, love it.